acts of our fathers, the apostles, may their holy blessings be upon us all. Amen. Now the Lord spoke to Paul in the night by a vision. Do not be afraid, but speak, and do not keep silent. For I am with you, and no one will attack you and to hurt you. For I may have, for I have many people in this city, and he continued there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. Now when Galileo was proconsul of Acacia, the Jews with one accord rose up against Paul and brought him to the judgment seat, saying, This fellow persuades men to worship God contrary to the law. And when Paul was about to open his mouth, Galileo said to the Jews, If it were a matter of wrongdoing or wicked crimes, O Jews, there would be no reason why I, sh I should bear with you. But if it were, but if it was, it is a question of words and names and your own law, look to it yourselves, for I do not want to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them from the judgment seat. Then all the Greeks took Sothenius, the ruler of the synagogue, and beat him before the judgment seat. But Galileo took no notice of these things, so Paul still remained a good while. Then he took leave of the brethren and said, sailed for Syria, and Priscilla and Aquilia were, were with him. He had his hair cut off at Cancaria, for he had taken a vow, and he, had ta and he came to Ephesus and left them there, but he himself entered the synagogue and reasoned with the Jews. When they asked him to stay a longer time with them, he did not consent, but took leave of them, saying, I must, I must by all means keep this coming feast in Jerusalem, but I will return again to you, God willing. May the, Lord, may the word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today, today is the 30th day of the blessed months uh, of Baba. May God ended in goodness and renewed for us in peace and tranquility while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercy of oh, my brother, in Amen. On this day the is the commemoration of the consecration of the Church of the Pure Saint Mark, the Evangelist, the founder of the Church in Egypt, and the appearance of his holy head in the city of Alexandria, his prayers be with us, amen. On this day also the great saint, the worshiper and fighter, Saint Abraham the hermit departed. This father was from the city of Manuf, a son of rich Christian parents. When, when he grew up, he longed for the monastic life. He went to Echmim, from there he came to Saint Bachomios, who put the monastic garb on him. Saint Abraham exhausted his body with ascetic practices and worship. He stayed with Saint Bachomios for 23 years, then he wished for the solitary life and some of the caves of St. Bachomios allowed him to do so. He made nets to catch fish. One of the laymen used to come take the work of his hands to sell it, buy beans for him and give the rest of the money as alms on his behalf. He led this life for the 13th, for 13 years, for the 13th years. His food each evening was a handful of salted beans soaked in water because the apparel that he went forth with from the monastery was worn out, he covered himself with a piece of sackcloth. He went to the monastery every two to three years to partake of the Holy Communion. The devil fought with him much at the beginning of his dwelling in that cave. They disturbed him with strange voices and terrified him with fearful images. But with the grace of God, he used to overcome them and drive them away. When his departure drew near, he sent the lay brother who used to serve him to the monastery to bring Abba Tadras, the disciple of St. Bachomius. When Abba Tadras came to him, he bowed down and asked him to remember him and his prayers. Then St. Abraham rose up and prayed with St. Tadras. He laid down facing the east and gave up his soul. When St. Tadras sent the, sent the news to the monastery, the monks came and carried him. Then they all prayed over him, were blessed by him, and laid him with the bodies of the saints. His prayers be with us and glory be to God forever. Amen. Agios, <laughs> Agios, 
Many prophets have desire to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you and have not heard them, but as you desire for thee see and your ears for thee hear, may be ordered to hear and to act according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your saints. Lord, have mercy. Remember also our master, all those who have bidden us, so remember them in our supplication and prayers, which we offer unto Lord our God, those who have already fallen asleep, reward them, those who are sick, help them. For you are the life of our souls, the hope of our souls, the healing of our souls, salvation of our souls, and the resurrection of our souls. Stand up with the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel, a gospel according to St. John, may his blessing be with us. Blessings be with us all, I mean. Bring to the Lord, you families of the Gentiles. Bring to the Lord glory and honor. Bring to the Lord the glory becoming his name. Take offerings and go into his courts. Worship the Lord in his holy court. Our Lord, God, and 
Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom his glories do forever. I mean, then Jesus lifted up his eyes and seeing a great multitude coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? But this he said to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two small fish, but what are they among so many? Then Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down in number about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves. Today we just heard one of the very famous miracles which our Lord Jesus Christ conduct to feed more than 20,000 persons, just only 5,000 men. Of course, every man has wife or mother or daughters or son. Um, and uh, the average will be at least 20,000. Just eight from five loaves and two fishes. And it's a great miracle. That's why it's a great miracle. We just heard it today. I'll go through three points just quickly, um, and then we'll switch in Arabic. Uh, to